welcome to Seattle where Husky hype is off the charts. It's the highest ranking they've had since 2001. It's the Huskies' turn to be back in the spotlight. Washington, what a year they're having. Is this the beginning of the Dog Father Part 2? I can't wait to you know, be coached by Coach Peterson, be in front of my hometown, playing in front of my family. It's a, we're, on a, we're on a path to greatness right now, and I can't wait to be a part of it. Just a bunch of dogs. I get excited because uh, even me and my football team, you know, we just like to think of ourselves as a bunch of dogs, you know, just get after the guy across from me. Hunter Bryant, and this is a guy who has impressed the entire week. Coach Pete is the best coach in the country. And I've looked at a lot of programs, but you know, no one compares to Washington. And he is committed to play for Chris Peterson at UW. I chose Washington because I fell in love with the coaching staff, and it's a top 20 business school in the country. And first home game, running out the purple smoke, uh, hearing the crowd roar, uh, full, full house, it's just going to be exciting. I chose the University of Washington because it's in Seattle, one of the most amazing cities in the country. Playing for Coach Pete, amazing coach to play for. Being a part of a brother, good brotherhood and experience, just a college experience itself. A lot of hype from the teams, you know, the players, just a lot of love coming from them. Um, when they make plays, they're all, you know, celebrating, showing some love to each other, and that just, that just gets me excited. No, I got a uh, strong background from the University of Washington. I thought it was a no-brainer for me. Coach Peterson and the staff got it rolling, so it's a great time to be here. Family atmosphere, I'm, I'm gonna be built for life, and uh, shoot, there's a brotherhood that you can't really get anywhere else. Ty Jones will play at Washington. The U.S. Army, All-American, Ty Jones. I chose Washington because it felt like home from the first time I got here. And Coach Pete, that's the dude, and I fell in love with the way he coaches and the way he reacts around his players. Brandon McKinney, another Washington commit. Our athlete of the week is a senior at Westland High School. His name is Elijah Molden. And he recently made a big announcement about his college plans for next year. A combination of many things with school and uh, the connections and Coach Pearson and Coach Lake for sure. It was pretty much came down to the culture that was there uh, with the players and, and the atmosphere. Um, I thought the coaches you know, they were, you know, going to mold me to the best player and person I could be. And I just felt like a family from the beginning. Scouts, talent evaluators, they say he's got the dog in him. He's got the fight. The coaches and like everything I've seen so far in the academics, it's all top notch and it's right there. It's perfect. Uh, Coach P has done a great job of like instilling, uh, obviously, a great uh, tradition of excellence in football, but also in academics and um, conduct off the field. I think that just really spoke to me. I took a tour of the campus and I just completely fell in love with the school. And I, let, I like the coaches, everything. I met Coach Lake, that's when I first met Coach Lake. Yeah, then ever since then, I just did my research, everything on them. You know, I, to be honest, I knew where I wanted to go from that point on. But, you know, I was just waiting on that offer. And, and after I got the offer, I just did continue to do, do more research. And then I was just like, hey, mom, dad, this, this is where I want to go. I just got to stay home, you know, playing in front of these cra these crazy fans. I've been to games, like, in the stands, it's crazy, like the student section and the vibe, the purple smoke and everything. Coach Pete, his whole built for life, I loved it. I couldn't turn down playing Pac-12 football and I guess the academics that they offer too and probably running out of that tunnel, really, all the, uh, all the spectators. Well, I do have the decibel meter going, guys. It has peaked out at about 98 decibels. Just to let you know, a jackhammer is about 115, a jet engine 140, so it is deafening. That's it, the legacy that my dad put forth. It's kind of the legacy and tradition of the program itself. All the Rose Bowl titles, the Pac-12 championship. I've been looking at you guys for a while, and I see how you guys grow in your program. The fans, also that stadium. I heard a lot about the, that stadium, so I mean, I'm looking forward to being here. The dogs are barking early on, fighting his way, and in they take him down again. That's intercepted. Touchdown. What a grab. Stutter step. Spinning. Breaks it away. Touchdown, Huskies. And intercepted. Oh, what a catch. Lead blocking. He's been doing to go and pancake the defender. And into the end zone for the Washington touchdown. And a one-handed catch. A highlight reel touchdown. I'll be going for the next four years to University of Washington, so you're going to be a Husky.